What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Aiden here at Starbucks Coffee in Salt Lake City on my way to Toronto to go speak at a gala for P-Flag York. So very excited. Uh, slept the entire flight from Oregon to Salt Lake, which I was not expecting, but I'm pretty happy about it. Here's Starbucks waiting for some coffee to wake up, put my contacts in, and uh, go catch my next flight because I don't have that much time. All right, so I just got to my gate. Just got some Canadian money. It's like Monopoly money. Green and blue. Looks fake. <laughs> I got a coffee, but I'm actually here on time, which is nice. Very, very nice. All right, so I'm just waiting here at the uh, garbage, garbage bag place. I'm waiting for my bag. Just landed in Toronto, Canada. Second time here. Pretty excited. Uh, gonna get picked up by Michael, but right now I'm just kind of chilling, waiting for my box to come. Where you at? Well, I think I found my box over there. I'm gonna go see if that's it, which means it's not gonna be on here. It's over there, sitting, waiting for me. I think that's it, right there. Let's see. Aha! I found it. I was about to be waiting there all day. <laughs> here, waiting for Michael. Got my box, my bag, got all my stuff. Nobody told me it was gonna be 28 degrees today. So, I'm freaking freezing. It's okay, I'm gonna survive. Luckily it's not like too windy or anything right now, but man, I don't think about these things. I did go to the East Coast and I am like in like the Northern Hemisphere, so man, I gotta remember this stuff. <laughs> I got holes in my jeans and stuff, like it's not even cold outside. All right, Michael's here. Let's go get it. All right, so Mike just came and picked me up. Had our little drive from the airport to the Holiday Inn, baby. You can meet me at the Holiday Inn. <laughs> so we're gonna grab a little selfie, then I'm gonna go upstairs, get myself ready, and I, I'm gonna practice my speech some. Uh, yeah, me too. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> gonna hit the gym, get some food. Just saw some crazy, huge supermarket that I've never seen before, but I'm gonna show you, so we'll get the selfie. Yeah. All right, all right, all right. So I just got to the hotel room. It's just me, just for a few days, so it's perfect. And uh, I'm about to actually, so I'm about to actually uh, do my shot. And I was like, hey, I'm gonna do my shot on camera. And then I thought, I'm not gonna do my shot on camera because the minute I do my shot on camera, people are gonna be like, you're not a doctor, you can't tell people how to take your shot. I'm not telling you how to take your shot. Go listen to your doctor, guys. That's the best way to take your shot. I have uh, my fear of needles video you can go back and check out some tips that I do give on how to give a shot that won't hurt as much I'm going to do my shot Okay, so I know what you're wondering this is gonna be funny, but I'm walking around covering my Needle shot. I know what you're thinking. Oh, Aiden. He is so used to doing a shot now He did that whole thing about doing a shot He's not scared of it anymore. I'm still scared. <laughs> Luckily, I did not bleed that much, but it is very common to have a little bit of blood after. Uh, my mom is a nurse for 30 years, and she did my shot twice while I was away, and uh, both times it bled a little bit. So I felt a little better about myself when I realized that. So when I'm done, I just take it, and I, I take this, and I just kind of, I'm doing this kind of motion. It's just kind of releasing some of the tension in the muscle, and I don't know if it's true, but to me, I just vote visu visualize kind of like, the, t the T just kind of going out, out there. And uh, really quick, really super quick, I'm not gonna spend a lot of time on this. You know what, if you want me to spend more time on it, drop a question below. Hold on, let me pull my pants up. Woo! Oh man, I'm bleeding right through my damn uh, pants. I hear people like talking about the supplements they use for the gym. And uh, I just want you guys to know like, testosterone is not a supplement. The minute you start saying testosterone is a supplement, it's a minute you're kind of insinuating that you're using tea to as kind of like a steroid instead of its real purpose, which is transitioning. I just want to throw that out there. Does tea help build muscle? Yes. Testosterone is a muscle building uh, hormone. Estrogen is not a muscle building hormone. Estrogen has its own build up, its own makeup, and it does what it's supposed to do, just like testosterone does what it's supposed to do. So just, you know, be weary. You know, we have access to this medicine that um, people can abuse and not take it as medicine. A lot of people do in the fitness industry, so don't be fooled, all right? Just, just keep that in mind. This here is not gonna make you have muscles. It's just not. Um, what this is gonna do is um, it's gonna help you become the man that you are inside. If people are saying this is what's making them build muscle, then they should probably rethink why they're taking hormones. That's all I'm gonna say. 
I'm unpacking and stuff, and I realized I brought this so I could read it. Rainbow Times, if you don't know, get with it. They are a media sponsor for Point of Pride, which is my nonprofit. You can check out, donate below. But if you're in the New England area, go check out, grab Rainbow Times. I love their stuff, awesome, awesome stuff. Just a little local news, you know what I mean? Good stuff, and does that beautiful man on the cover look familiar? Doesn't he look so gorgeous? You know who that is, right? If you don't know, you should get with it because this right here is Malcolm, buddy of mine. You can catch him in a couple of my old videos. Go back, check him out. He's a cool kid. Funny, because it says Gorilla Shrimp. Malcolm, I bet you in a million years you never knew that making this little, uh, like he made it for Instagram or, or something, like an AIM screen name or something. Little did he know this was going to be like how he's going to be known now. But this is Malcolm Renee. I know him as FTM Traveler. There's a whole little spiel about him in here. He travels around the whole U.S. and I think he's going to start going to Canada this year, which is really excited for him. I'm very excited for him and for everybody who gets to connect because what he does is he brings people together. You know, he gets, uh, he says, hey, I'm going to, you know, so-and-so, go to Portland, Oregon, right? Come meet up. And then everyone's texting him and they're like, hey, I don't know anyone in Portland. And then he's like, well, there's got to be other trans people in Portland because 20 people just texted me. So what he does is he connects people together. That's how I met my friend Benson. So it's really cool. I, I, I personally owe him uh, my friendship with Benson because of him, as well as, you know, we've just built our own friendship. So it's been really great. If you want to read more about him, check him out. He's an awesome guy. You know, has, has a unique story, too, for being trans, I think, personally. Um, just because I think you mostly hear these really generic stories, which, not to downplay anyone's story, but you hear a lot of stories about how, you know, trans people uh, felt like trapped in their bodies when they were younger. I don't relate to that. When I was a little girl, I was a little girl, you know what I mean? Um, I, I was a tomboy, played with sports and everything. He's got a little different story. I don't want to take his story away from him, so go check it out, read his story. Uh, good stuff in here, and also, you can check out the ads for .5 CC and Point of Pride in there, too. Super stoked about that. Thank you, Rainbow Times. It's actually like 7.30 right now. I just got off the phone. I was on the phone with my friend for a while and uh, I ended up kind of not feeling like going to the gym too much anymore. So I'm just gonna give myself the day off. I put my hat on because it's freezing outside and I got this at a resale shop. You might have saw it in the beginning of the video. Woohoo! So I put a little decal on there, yeah buddy. I bought this for $15, it's like a little cruiser. So it's super small and I'm gonna use it because I noticed that when I go to these, to traveling and stuff, like I very easily use Ubers all the time. And uh, I don't wanna always be using Ubers. So I was like, hey, like if I brought a skateboard with me, I'd just be able to go wherever the hell I wanted without any Ubers or anything like that, you know, and, and kind of have some more fun exploring. So I'm taking this bad boy with me uh, on all my trips from now on, and I'm gonna go cruise around and find some food. Take you with me. think of in here. I don't even know what I want to eat. A salad, a sandwich. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. This is going to be hard. Something tells me I'm going to buy way too much. I'm afraid. <laughs> Alright, so right off the bat, there's so much stuff here. I already know I'm buying too much, but it's like, you know, you have this fear that you're never going to eat again or something. <laughs> so I got a couple of things. I'll show you when I get back. Um, I think they're actually closing. I can't really tell. Everything's kind of slowly closing down. So I'm going to get some water and head out of here. I am sitting here answering emails. I've got my chicken and sweet potato. I got some, um, uh, what the hell is this? Vegetarian sushi. And I did grab myself, if you didn't know, my absolute favorite soda, which I never really drink, but when I do, 
it's always the Mr. DP. Oh yeah, that's my jam right there. But I just wanted to say this, okay? You know, sometimes I talk a lot of shit about people talking shit about me. Okay, maybe that's an exaggeration. Maybe I don't talk a lot of shit about people talking shit about me, but I just wanna say that, like, I'm reading some emails and they're hella sweet. Like, you know, they're super, super sweet. And so I just wanna thank you guys for, you know, for emailing me positive things and emailing me your stories. Like, you know, sometimes I get these really long emails and I sit and I read them because they're important to me. And it might take me some time to email back because I get, hundreds of emails a day, just to be honest, you know what I mean? I just wanna say, like, thank you. You know what I mean? I feel like maybe, maybe I do say that all the time, but maybe right now it means more to me saying it right now because I'm sitting here answering these emails and they're just hella sweet, you know what I mean? Like, I just, not that I am complaining, but it's just like, you know, how can I complain? You know, I, I just, no matter how many things that come in my way, no matter how much hate I might get, no matter how many emails I get about, you know, all the terribleness that I'm creating for people and for their children, this is what matters to me. These emails, the comments that you guys leave below, like the comments on my Instagram, like that's, that's why I do this. Because it's, it's not, I don't want to, you know, I, I don't want to like inspire people, right? What I want to do is I just want to be authentic. And I want to be inspired by people. And if they find something inspiring that, you know, I've done or I'm doing, that's freaking awesome. Then we can both learn from each other. So, I don't know, just, just I'm feeling good, you know. I want to end this on a really good note, this video, because, you know, I know this video has just been a, being me, been a lot of me like, hey, I'm doing this, hey, I'm doing this, hey, I'm doing this. I don't know. I don't know. Just going to end it here. I'm just gonna end the video here on a good positive note. <laughs> Tomorrow I have a busy day and y'all will be with me. So thank you guys for tuning in. I, I really do appreciate it. If you wanna see more videos, if you want, you know, my my channel to keep growing, if you wanna help me out, you can hit that like button. Um, that just kind of pushes me through to my videos and stuff to some other people's feeds, like in that like right hand column that says like, because you watch this, you might like this. And that helps generate views, which helps generate um, comments, which helps generate content. I appreciate it. I love you all from the bottom of my heart. All right, guys, I'm gonna catch you in the next video. It'll be a good one. Peace.